Cuckoo and Peace, hello my loves. So we were having an off day. <laughs> just just completely from start to finish off day. And then it was taking me forever to get everything on my face. And I was sitting here thinking of filming something else for today, as you can tell, that I have to like hold my head down. Um, I think of filming something else for today, and I'm like, you know what? I thought to myself, you know what? Nothing makes you feel as peppy and brings the energy back uh, quite as well as lipstick videos. So my sweet friend Noelle, or Hooker Lips, here on YouTube, I'll link her channel down below, sent me the whole range of NYX lips, uh, Wicked with lipsticks, and I have had them on my desk sitting and waiting uh, for a day to do like a whole lip swatch video, and I feel like if I keep waiting for a day where my lips aren't really super dry, we're going to be here till summer, because this winter has taken a toll on my lips. Um, so instead, we're just going to rough through it. They are lip swatches, so they might not be perfect, but at least we had an idea on, on color and payoff and color and payoff, color and, and, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, my skin, something is going on with my skin, so it's super red, so I, I'm hoping all the stuff that we put on top of it is camouflaging that a little, but I don't know why I've had a strange skin week. Anyways, there are 12 shades in the range, and she sent me all 12, um, and they retail for $6 each. I will link the NYX website down below. I know Ulta had them on buy one, get one 50% off recently, like the whole NYX line. Um, so definitely if you live near an Ulta um, or all that kind of good stuff, you can wait for these sales because it is these are a permanent line in their range. Um, I might bring you guys in a tiny bit closer just so that we can get a, um, a good view in them. Again, we're going to ignore sort of the wonky lip lines. <laughs> that, that sort of comes with swatching territory. But yeah, let's, let's just get into it. So the one on my lips today is the number 12. I'm trying to see if they have, num if they have names called Envy uh, in number 12, which is the one, like I said, on my lips today. Um, I'll do a little hand swatch for you guys. It's that one right there. Um, I have a couple lipsticks that I pulled from like the ones that I own um, that I thought would be similar. Not exact dupe, but sort of similar. Um, and because the NYX ones are nice and affordable, I thought I would show you. So this one is in 292 from Inglot by, by Inglot in 292. It's quite a different shade of blue. Um, in person, it's a little bit more similar, but it, it in terms of sort of that metallicness, it's it's spot on. It's just the color is a little bit different. Um, but if you sort of wanted a metallic blue, you could spend the six bucks at NYX um, for this one as opposed to this one. I thought Techno Pagan uh, from OCC would be similar. Let's see where the little vial is that I have. So this little guy right here, um, it, it's not. I actually did swatch that one. This one not only is more opaque, but it's also um, not metallic, obviously. So there's that difference there. But that one on my lips is number 12. Uh, this guy on my, lips, on my lips here is number 11, so I'm doing them backwards. I didn't show you guys the packaging, so it comes sort of with the top. Let's do it this way. Uh, this way, and then you can see the color in the in the tube. So that one's the one I just showed you guys. Um, and when you open it up, it goes like this, and then this guy's clear and it goes up. The I hope you're able to see, but it sort of curves a little bit. So when you're trying to apply it, it shapes to the to the size of your or the shape of your lips, which is nice. Um, what I will say is that if you are scared of black, but you want to sort of venture into a black lipstick, this one is nice because it's not fully opaque. It's almost like a gray. Um, so it would be a good, like, starter black lipstick if you don't want to go full on black right away. Um, and all of them have this kind of shine to them as well, which takes away from, like, the intensity of a matte black or matte blue or that kind of thing. So it, it's nice. it's a nice way to get into these crazier colors. Uh, this one here is number 10. I feel like of the shades, this one is the most natural <laughs> looking one. So it's that kind of grayish purple uh, color. There is a pencil. I want to say it's probably in citrine uh, that that's cl closely resembles this guy. And it's one of my favorites because it's sort of really unique. So it's like a natural but not natural color. This one I built it up a couple times so I could get the opacity because it's quite similar to my lip color. But I like how metallic-y it, it is. So yeah, I'm sort of obsessed with these new lashes. These are the 102s by Cherry. Cherry Lashes and 102. Um, and yeah, I'm just like super, super into them in the moment. But they're slightly distracting. So I'm going to try to focus and get through the rest of these lip swatches. This bad boy right here is number 9. I keep catching myself and I like... I 
they can't remember it. It's like, dude, you're just counting back from 12. That's not quite such a big deal. Um, the one that's quite similar to this guy, and I feel like I swatched it, um, and it didn't look great in the swatch, but on the lips, it's it's very close, is um, Serpentina by Lime Crime, which I think are $18 or $16 at this point. Um, so, yeah, because the bullet's going to give you an indication of what the color is. But let me just swatch them side by side. Um, so the second swatch, this one is Serpentina, and this one is the 9 in the NYX Wicked Lippies. So they are really, really similar. Um, and the NYX one is, is a fraction of the cost. So if you wanted a good dupe for Serpentina, number 9 in this line would be a great bet. This one's number 8, and I can't help but sing the Kanye West song, Gold Digger, as I was applying it. Uh, so that's a swatch right there. I would say it's more like a, it's not as opaque as the rest of them, so I feel like as a lipstick topper this one would look really really pretty. Um, on its own you sort of really have to work at it, but but it is a really gorgeous uh, color, especially with like a whole bronzy look, I feel like it would be really really gorgeous. Because um, that one is number 8. This one is number 7, which is really pretty uh, blue based purple. Um, and what I am sort of finding across the shades is with one swipe you don't get full opacity. You sort of have to go back a couple times in to get that op opacity that you want. Um, but also that being said, they are nice and creamy, so they haven't been drying out my lips even though I've been swatching back and forth. So that is really lovely. Um, number six are these ETS Glips. I feel like it's pulling a little lilac because my um, lips are starting to, to, to get stained from all the different pigments um, of the lipsticks, uh, but it's that one right there, and it's really just sort of like a silvery kind of overlay. Um, again, on its own, if you have pigmented lips, this is not going to show up. Um, you could wear it sort of as a lipstick topper, uh, but that's number six. <laughs> um, you could totally go, like, if you're doing a whole robot alien look, I feel like these lips would match, for sure. <laughs> This one's number five, and this one's an exception to the bunch in that it doesn't have that metallic y overlay, and it's um, a lot more opaque than the other ones. It's like fully opaque with one swipe and super, super creamy. So it's that first swatch right here, and this one is the 292 from Inglot that I showed you earlier. That's why I pulled it out. I didn't pull it out for the first I'm like, I swear when I swatched these, it seemed like a, a better match. So, in terms of the metallicness of it, it, it matches that first one I showed you, but in terms of the color, um, it matches this color a lot better. It's looking a little bit different just because the Inglot one, the second one, is a little bit more metallic, but if you look straight up at the colors, they're very, very similar. You can tell a difference when you swatch it on your hand, but I've come to find out, you guys ready for my revelation? I swatch things on my hand and they look differently, and then I swatch them on my lips, and it, like I have one color on the top lip, one on the bottom, and they look the exact same. So the, the difference that you can sometimes see in hand swatches gets washed out by the time it's on your face. So um, again, if, if you were looking, if you were, had looked at 292 by Inglot and you wanted a cheaper dupe, um, this one in number 5 from the NYX Wicked Collection would be a great a great one for that. And it goes well with this whole blue toned themeness. <laughs> this guy's number 4 and it's actually the one I was the most excited about in the line. Um, like the previous one that I just showed you, it goes on nice, creamy, and opaque, although it does have that metallic edge to it that um, the number 5 didn't. The lipstick that I pulled that, again, isn't an exact dupe color-wise, but it's similar and it's so much more expensive is 410 um, by YSL. It's the Rouge Pure Couture line. Um, so this one is a little bit, a little bit, a lot more red than the one that's on my lips. So that's that second one there, and this is the first one. I I know in the swatch it doesn't look like an exact dupe, but it's not an exact dupe. But in terms of the way it wears on the lips, the color um, of the way, like as soon as I put this one on, I thought of this one by YSL because it has that same sort of. Um, metallicness to it. Sorry, there's a weird sound. Um, and the same kind of color intensity. So if you, and I've heard people have had a hard time tracking down 410. So if, if you would want to try something similar that wasn't quite the, the YSL one, as I blind you with the shiny lights, uh, give number four in the NYX Wicked line a try and see what you, how you get out with that, how you make out, how you, I can't speak, it's very late, and you know what I'm trying to get at. Okay, I hope so. <laughs> But yeah, this is probably my favorite one of the bunch. This is number three, and it's almost as if the second half, a little bit less than half, um, so far is performing very differently than the first bit, because they're going on nice, creamy, super opaque, um, and I'm loving it. I do have, I didn't realize until I started swatching it, 
Um, there are some that I've tested out and worn, and some I'm, some I'm just watching for the first time in this video. But when I put this on, it reminded me of, I think this is Wanderlust, right? By Ella Masco? Wanderlust. It was a... I don't know. I think it was limited edition. I'm not sure. But um, it's reminding me of it. So let's... Yeah. See? It's basically the same color. The lip gloss. This is one of their intense lip glosses. It's that second one. It's a little bit more opaque. Um, but... It was limited edition, even if it's not, I don't love the applicators on this, um, on this guy. So I love that there's a, a better, not a better, but an easier way to wear this really cool, like, petrol kind of, of color. Um, so I think, like I said, that was number three by the NYX Wicked Lipstick and Wanderlust by El Masca. This is number two. Um, so it's creamy like the, the last few that we've, um swatched but uh, it is not as opaque with one swipe so as you can see this is my hand swatch and this is how it's sort of translating on my lips the the colors that I've swatched are sort of interfering with with the kind of color with like the lightness of the color they're darkening up a little bit um, the color that it reminds me of and again it's not going to be an, this one's not going to be an exact dupe but sort of an alternate or a similar kind of color is Apocalypse by Ella Masca um, so again you're the price difference is where you're gonna... What am I trying to get at? What I'm trying to say is so this second one is Apocalypse and this one is uh, the number two by the NYX Wicked Lippies. Um, different formulas. The one by by Ella Masca, super, super matte. Um, and it's a little bit darker. But when you're comparing, I think these are like 16, 18 pounds um, versus six dollars. So there's that price differential. So if you really, really want the matte, super turquoise, go for the Ella Masca. But if you want a similar kind of look for a fraction of the cost, give um, the one by NYX a shot because it is a really lovely color and quite similar. One more and then these lips get to rest. So this gorgeous vampy color is number one in the range. Um, so it's that one right there. I have no idea, like I was hoping that if I went through them in order of like numbering, they'd go from lightest to darkest, darkest from lightest, but no. <laughs> um, so this one is nice and matte and opaque and creamy all in one swipe. Um, it has a shine, but not that kind of like foiled effect that some of the rest of them have. Um, but yeah, that's those are the the ones, the ones. Though so that is the range. <laughs> um, so let me know down below which one was your favorite. If you're gonna pick any up, if you have any and you love them, I know the shade, the line's been out for a while. So if any of you have picked any up, um, let me know all that kind of good stuff. And yeah, let's just ch chat lipstick <laughs> goodness. That was almost a very bad word. Down below, I'm gonna zoom you guys out and do some points of positivity. So my first point of positivity is lipstick swatch videos. They always leave me so happy um, and so upbeat. So I've got to thank my sweet gal, Noelle, for these ones. Um, like I said, I'll link her channel down below. She's been going on and uploading fun frenzy. Like, she's just having a blast uploading some new videos. So um, that was sort of tangential. But lipstick videos, my good friend, Noelle, all good, happy, positive things. So that's going to be my first point of positivity. My second is getting to talk with a bestie on the phone yesterday. It has been way too long. Um, and we finally figured out scheduling and all that kind of good stuff and uh, we sat down and got to talk on the phone to the point at which we had to say goodbye because our phone was dying like that's how long we talked um, but yeah that, that's definitely my second point of positivity and my third is getting to catch up with a sweet uh, friend here in person um, just got to hang out and again the conversation just went and went and went and went and before we realized it, we had gone way too late we all had to each had to go our separate ways to get things done um but yeah those are my points of positivity for today um it's just been a wonky day so i thought what's better than some lipsticks and, and sitting down and focusing on the positive to sort of change that mood right around. But yeah, that's it for me today. As always, please let me know what's been making you smile down in that comment section. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you so, so much for being here. And as always, I can never leave you without reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.